Check it out, folks. You guys have been asking. Here it is. Tomahawk steak. Let's get it. Okay, so look, we finna get right into this, right? Let's go ahead and address the big giant steak, right? This right here, what I call this, like I, I heard other people calling it also, it's always been a handle to me, right? But we got a large piece of steak, right? So check it out, this is what I'm finna do. Look, I always cook, you guys been following me for a minute, know I like that coarse kosher salt, right? But I'm gonna take a little bit of this, right? Just take some, uh, you guys see it, right? Now come on over here. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just grind some of this down. You know what, I want it to be a little bit on the fine side. And I'll just go ahead. You can see some of it stays. I don't want to get it like super fine, but you can probably just see it turns to like a little bit of the dust. You know what I mean? That's the part that I kind of like grind it up. Don't worry, you're not finna over salt it. This is a must though, folks. Like I said, it's a large piece of meat and we got to get it everywhere. We done done the front and the back side, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. And then don't forget, this part right here is important too. I done seen people, I done been at their house, you know what I mean? And I watch them, you know, season and stuff like that. And when I see them seasoning, I say, man, why are they not getting the side? Listen, we wanna get all of this. Okay, so if you take a look right here, I got two different seasonings right here, right? Of course, I'm gonna be using my barbecue rub, right? I like this flavor, this profile, this right here is fire, even on the tomahawk, right? And then I love to have a little bit of that garlic powder. You know, just a little bit of an excess, right? Now don't forget, all of my products, like these right here, are low in sodium. So look, we put a little salt on here, and I'ma say that's just a little salt, because a lot of it's gonna be absorbed in, it's gonna pull out some moisture, and all of this serves a purpose. I'ma put this on lightly, folks. I just want you to pay attention, just lightly. You know what I mean? Just like you see, that's it, for right now. Because I want to get this, you know, this flavor in the inside also. Flip it over. We do the same, right? Not a whole lot. We just wanna go ahead. Now you guys put whatever you want to. You can use your own steak seasoning or however, but this right here is my tool of choice anytime that I'm outside, right? Now, I'ma come back with a little bit of this, you know, this powder right here. Ooh, my goodness. Okay, and now, last but not least, I'm gonna come with some of this black pepper. I'm not gonna put a whole lot on here, folks. I'm just gonna put enough on here you know, just so that I can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this in the house. I'm probably gonna put just a, a paper towel over the top of it and just let it sit up for at least an hour. And then, you know, what? by then, I'll come back out and I'll show you how to set up your grill. Now, what you're seeing me do is right now, I'm just lighting two of my little tumbleweeds so I can get a nice big flame so I can use my chimney, as you can see, and then I'm putting right over the top the chimney with my charcoal. You gotta have it extremely hot because we're gonna start off and do a sear first. Okay, so look, you just saw me put them coals in there coming out of that chimney. I hope you guys can see that down there. You see that nice and red? See how the charcoal's turning white? Now we're producing heat, right? Then I added some fresh briquettes on the top of that. You know why? Because we want to bring this heat up. We want to be at least 500. I like mine 550, and if I can get it up to 600, I do that too. You know why? Because we're going to sear, baby. Okay, so look, when you guys look back in here, I want you to pay attention to the coals, right? I know you're gonna be looking at that meat, but I want you to pay attention to the coals. You can see they nice red, they hot. Even the new ones I put on there, they turning white, so they producing heat, right? So that's what we're gonna do, because we're gonna go ahead and sear. I'm gonna sear first. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, just like this, right? And then I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna put it down, just like that. And I'm not gonna touch it, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand on it like this just to make sure it's flat. And that's what you wanna do. We are gonna go for about two minutes. I'm setting my clock right now. Got this. It's been about two minutes, probably about two minutes and 15 seconds, something like that, right? So then listen, if I take it, now check this out. I got a spin grate, so it makes it a little bit easier for me. If I wanna to try to get those lines, I just pick it up and I move it to a different position. I just pick it up, take it like this, and set it like that. And because I'm using a spin grate, I can just take it and turn it. Two more minutes. 
after a couple of minutes, look, I take this over here, move it on this side. Now I'll flip it over. I just want to show you guys. Look at that right there. Again, we just want to go two minutes on each side. You know what I mean? So, excuse me, it's four minutes total because it's a thick piece of meat. So I'm going to go two minutes this way. Then I'm going to move it over, go another two minutes. And then we're going to move it to the indirect side. All right. So now we take this off after doing both sides for a couple of minutes. Take it, flip it over, and that's what we come up with right there. Look at that, nice char. A lot of that is the pepper that we put on there. You know, some of the seasonings, you know, take on this new profile. Now, I'm gonna show you this. Remember, as I've taught you guys before, we got a water tray. This like helps maintain the, you know, fire. Keep the, uh, the heat kind of like moist. I mean, at a, at a certain temperature and it keeps, you know, a little moisture in the chamber, right? Don't forget this side right here too. So I take it, just put it like this for a minute and let it get a little attention myself. Now, as you can see on the screen, there's some different donenesses. You guys cook it like you want to. This right here is a wireless meat thermometer, right? I'm gonna take it. You see how they got this little ring right here? I'm gonna put the, this in the inside up to that right there. Now, I go right here through the spinalis on this end over here, and I just take it and I just insert it. I stay in the middle and I just go, right? Now, I got an app. It works with my phone. It tells me just how hot it is okay so after i put that in the inside you saw that i have an app everybody not gonna have that but most people are gonna have a meat thermometer right i'm gonna tell you why i like to have it wirelessly every time you take the lid off to check it you're letting all of the valuable heat you know that we always say if you looking you ain't cooking and that's really really goes to this right here and this when you're cooking on a grill and when you're cooking you know using a uh, crock pot okay now that i reach my internal temp of 135 i'm gonna go ahead and take it set it right here and that's it right there you see that 133 that's good that's close enough that tell me they pretty much about the same all right folks so look i'm gonna set it right here and i'm gonna let it rest i'm gonna let this rest for about maybe anywhere between five i'm gonna say i'm gonna let it rest 10 minutes right now i can go ahead and just remove my probe you know what i mean and i'll let it you know just sit right here we want it because look when it was hot it get a little tight as it relax it'll pull them juices back in that way when you cut it it'll be nice and juicy All right, look, check it out. I done let it rest for about 10 minutes, right? Now, listen, I don't want to get into no fight, you know, over the internet with the internet police talking about the, the doneness of my, the way I like my steak, right? So listen, I'm going to just say this. If you want yours to be a little bit more on the done side, cook it longer, right? But I'm going to show you mine. So listen, I'm going to take, you know, my slicer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace this bone. You know what I mean? And as I trace the bone, you see how that comes out? You see that right there? Some of y'all seeing Bosco gonna get that, but guess who's gonna get that, folks? That's me. You see this piece right here? Ooh, that got my name on it. Now, I'm gonna set this over here, and then we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and cut something off of this, you know, this spinalis over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just give this a cut like this. You know what I mean? That right there got my name on it. That right there, ooh, that got my name on it. That got my name on it. You guys get the point. But this is the way I like mine. Now, again, you guys can cut yours any kind of way you would like to, you know, slice it any kind of way. You guys can go ahead and, you know, cook them a little bit more. Now you're really getting into the way I like to eat it at now. Now, I was brought up in the very beginning with having that well-done meat, but you see this piece right here? Whew. And I'm going to hurry up, though, because the longer I keep it open like this, the longer it's going to start to, you know, have a chance to start to oxidize, you know? So we'll just pull it like this. Now look, I done already cut me a piece. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy it. Cheers, y'all. Now, I want to say this. Don't take my word for it. Please give it a chance for all you guys out there. You guys, some people say they tried it, but when you get down to the nitty gritty, they haven't ever really tried it. Look, try 135. Let it rest for about 10 minutes and then cut a piece. If you don't like it, come back, talk to me, and I promise I'll leave you all alone and I'll take what you got for me. Now, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, I'm gonna keep it brief. Like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm finna go take these in the house and I'm finna get down. Peace.